hi everyone welcome back how have you been well i hope long time no see i think um <laughs> my name is medina for anybody who might be new here this channel is going to focus on a little bit of fashion a little bit of travel covid permitting lifestyle fun things to do on nyc and all that jazz so if that sounds like content you're interested in please consider subscribing below um, i'm coming to you from a new locale i'm coming to you from the secret garden I'm kidding. This is just my living room. Well, the dining area to be exact. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. I figured I'd switch it around and give you guys a little razzle dazzle every now and then. But if it's too distracting and you just like the plain old white wall, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm right next to the street, by the way. So hopefully it doesn't get too noisy and rowdy. Hopefully. Um, it's fine. If it does, I'll edit it out. I got you. I got you. It'll be fine. Um, <laughs> But I know we are mid-November, but I did not forget you guys. This is October's favorites. Okay, so first up, um, for those of you who watched my previous video what, where I was telling you guys what to get during the Sephora sale, um, you would remember I hinted towards a brand that I was going to tell you about in a favorites video. Um, and it is Ami Cole, and this is their Skin Enhancing Tint. So it's basically a tint and moisturizer really good it goes on really well it feels nice on the skin blends very easily this is a black owned brand by the way so you know we support black owned businesses um this color i have is medium one they own tones if you go on the website you know that i believe there's a quiz you can take that will give you your best guess of your best complexion um, but I really like it between this and the Laura Mercier, which is what I told you guys to get at Sephora. This is what I use when I, you know, do my face for these YouTube videos or for any time when I want to just look a little, a bit more polished, but I don't really want to put on like heavy makeup. These are my go-tos, but support black owned business. So definitely check this out. Okay. So next up we have a pocketbook hero. Um, those of us who are not God's favorites, we have returned to work. We are commuting back and forth to work now. Um, but we are still in a pandemic, so we still have to stay safe. Sis, if you don't know, now you know. Please treat yourself to Dove's hand sanitizer, okay? This bad boy... <sighs> okay, hand sanitizers, we know the importance of them. But they dry out your hands, right? We know this. This doesn't do that. That's all that needs to be said. It doesn't do that. It kills the germs. I mean, that that's what they said, according to them. <laughs> according to them, it kills 99.99% of germs and it moisturizes your hands. Get this, guys. Get it, okay? I believe it also comes in like a big pump bottle. So if you want to keep it at your desk or at home or somewhere. But for your pocketbook, definitely keep these they come they they cost about 2.99 for like two fluid ounces which is kind of pricey because you know you could probably go to the dollar store and get a big thing for like 99 cents but they're not gonna moisturize your hands the way this does and um it's a bit more liquidy liquidy is the word right yes it is it's a bit more liquidy than the average hand sanitizer so you don't have to use a lot let me see if i can show you um See, like sometimes I offer it to people and they just squirt and they're like, oh, too much came out. You don't have to use a lot. So it does, a little does go a long way, but so good. it makes your hands feel so good. It doesn't dry out your hand like the regular hand sanitizer, guys. If you do nothing else to treat yourself, especially in this winter when our skin is already going to be dry regardless, definitely get this. Okay. Okay. Next up on the list, <laughs> iron pills. Yes, we are at that stage. Listen, the statistics, yes, I brought out the statistics for you guys. The statistics state that 20% of women childbearing age have iron deficiency anemia, okay? So I, I know I'm not alone. I know one of you all out there got it too. Um, I found out I had iron deficiency anemia years ago if i'm being honest with you and i was very um 
flippant about it very nonchalant i would say let me not lie um once i when i first found out i went and i got the iron pills and if you know what taking iron pills is like you know you would be solving one problem and creating another okay and i immediately stopped taking them and i just did not give it another thought even though i know i had it i was just like whatever um it only occurred to me every now and then when i would try to donate blood at a blood drive and the nurse would look at me like girl <laughs> if you don't go sit back down at your desk with your low blood count please um, <laughs> but i'm trying to do better overall health wise so i found these they don't cause nausea or constipation or all the other things that regular iron pills do. So, if you need an iron supplement like I do, I recommend the Mega Food Blood Builders. These are the minis because I am, I'm one of those people who have a hard time swallowing big tablets. So I have to take two of these, but they have the single capsule if you're okay with bigger tablets. But it's really good. Um... I've only been taking it consistently for a month, so I can't speak to how well it works. I mean, I notice I don't have as much headaches. Um, I'm still a little fatigued, but not as much as before, so that's probably it. But for the most part, it doesn't make me constipated, and that's what's most important right now. So definitely on the favorites list this month. Okay, next up we have ikea reusable bags <laughs> they cost 99 cents they come folded up like this in their own little pouch and you can open them i have bought several of these and i have put them in every single handbag that i have every single work bag i should say that i have for those of you who live here in new york city i'm sure you already know now the stores charge you five cents for a bag anytime you buy an item if you don't have a bag with you and um I don't know what it is about that five cent. I just refuse to pay it. I just, you know, I'm like Martin with that rent, in that rent increase. I'm not paying the five. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I would quicker walk around with the item in my hand than pay that five cents. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, I mean, and I'm not, I'm not upset at the law. I understand the reason for it, you know, but environment to encourage us to use reusable bags so consider me encouraged <laughs> so i stock up on these little goodies like i said i bought a bunch of them and i put them in all my handbags so if ever like i transfer one bag to another and i forgot it or something or i used it the day before and i didn't fold it back up i always have one ready these are 99 cents guys and they have so many cute different patterns like, how could you not? I mean, everybody does reusable bags right now, but I feel like, for the most part, they cost more than 99 cents. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. But I just really like these. So, don't say I didn't tell you guys. Ikea, 99 cents. Okay, next for these days of in-between weather. This was definitely a workhorse in the month of October. Is J. Cruz feel green jacket um this i actually purchased i want to say either two or three years ago but j crew is one of those brands where they bring stuff back every year they just either improve on it or something so this jacket is actually still available on the website i will link it below but every time i wear this jacket i get compliments um it's really nice the detailing the, the gold buttons what i specifically love about this is the padding um, it's perfect for that in between because it's padded enough to keep you warm when it's a little cool, but not too padded to keep you hot when the temperature raises. If you know what I mean, the temperature rises, sorry. There goes the Trini. <laughs> when the temperature rises, because in New York, you can leave the house and it's like 40 degrees and then by lunchtime, it's 60. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is the perfect jacket for that. Um... Definitely, definitely wait until they have a sale. I think when I checked the website, it cost one seventy three. I definitely didn't pay that for it. I also got this because they have regular and petite. You know, I love people who do petites. I didn't see petite on the website anymore, so I don't know if that's it's just not available anymore or not. But um, 
the regular should be fine you can just cuff it definitely wait until they have a sale but if you need an in-between jacket this is a go-to the only thing i wish it had was a hood because i love a good hood but again i'm not wearing it when it's like freezing cold outside i'm wearing it when it's like moderate so it's not a big deal that it doesn't have a hood but this was definitely an Atoba favorite all right and <laughs> next up on the list we have <laughs> bow <laughs> garbage bags <laughs> all right i know you got a lot on your mind you got a lot of things to figure out so let me answer the question that's currently pressing on your brain for you is she that girly that pink garbage bags would make her happy the answer to that question is why yes yes she is <laughs> y'all <laughs> listen if you live with men folk and you don't have to worry about the trash god bless you <laughs> but for those of you who don't sis why not make taking out the trash a more pleasurable experience? Treat yourself, sis. Treat yourself to pink garbage bags. Listen. <laughs> I don't really only love these just because they're pink. I mean, they're the main reason. But they actually also really smell good. Cherry Blossom is the scent. They're really good at hiding, you know, the trash scent. The trash scent. Like, why not? I don't know... If this is because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in the US so I don't know if this was limited edition because I don't I feel like I've never seen this before or maybe I just wasn't paying attention I hope it's not but I saw it I bought it and now I'm hooked so I stocked up on it but yeah I actually like looking in the garbage can now because it's pink and it's pretty and it smells good don't judge me treat yourself to some pink garbage bags you're welcome <laughs> okay i think this is the last item i have to show you um hi my name is medina and i'm a foodie you're gonna learn that about me very quickly <laughs> so these favorite videos will more than likely always include a food item and this month's item well i should say last month's item is trader joe's cashew pepe ravioli <sighs> it's so good so 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 good um cashew i love pasta first and foremost i love all pasta all the all the shapes all the sauces everything i want all of it i love it um i love cashew pepe pasta i mean it's really just cheese sauce and black pepper <laughs> but when you make it right it can be really decadent um trader joe's actually makes the cashew pepe in frozen form which as far as frozen cheese goes is actually pretty good um surprisingly but whoever at headquarters decided to make it into a ravioli we thank you okay because this is so good guys it's so you're gonna see a lot of trader joe's items so if you're not into trader joe's or you don't have a trader joe's near you i apologize in advance i'm really sorry but i love trader joe's sorry <laughs> but this is really good if you do have one this is definitely one to try um and yeah it's just like i said before it's just it's just great it's good um and i believe that is all for october comment down below if you like this video and i will see you again next month bye everyone